Hi everyone, it's Christy from Station Stickers, and I have a plan with me in my Erin Carnegie Hourly using Kit 21. And I did grab the weekly kit stickers with the long strip um, for the hourly as well as I printed some date dots as well. I realized that the kit doesn't come with date dots because um, most people have their own date dots they pick up you know from just foiled kits and stuff but um, if you pick up the full kit and you want me just to throw those in let me know in the comments at checkout. I'm going to try to set up it so that's included in the listing you purchase the full kit like automatically I just have to go in and edit those. Um, so anyways before we get started be sure to click the subscribe button and I apologize that my hand motions and what I'm saying doesn't match because I am actually doing a voiceover since when I initially filmed this the audio wasn't that good so I didn't want to um, put that up so yeah anyways um, make sure to subscribe click the notification bell and give us a thumbs up um, I think from now on I'm gonna be doing a weekly spread in my hourly as well as in my a5 um, agenda um, so that way you can actually see how I actually plan on my week. I don't do as much memory keeping as I wish I did in the past. It's just more like forward planning. Um, and I realize I need both of these in my life to keep myself sane. Um, pretty much this one I use this overview on my desk. When I wake up, I get to my office. I know like what I have to do that week. And then my week to day to day, um, like my A5, usually has like a list of things I have to do for that day and um, yeah anyways okay so back to the spread as you can see I only whited out most of the top so I can knew where to put the line or level and then um, so the washi um, it's hard to tell in the listing but um, it's set up so that there's like thin washi um, as well so I'll show you that in a bit but I want going ahead and putting down the date dots but you can see me pulling up they are directly stackable like continuous seamless I guess that's the word you best say it um, but yeah so that's me explaining that um, so all the hourly kits are set up like that so that you have a thin washi to put at the top and then um, you have a longer washi to put at the bottom but if you actually want to stack them you can so it's whatever you decide to do um, but yeah so I'm going ahead and do that on the other side as well and um, yeah so this I forgot to say this is in our removable mat paper um, I personally like removable mat because things tend to move around especially you know as you're planning as you go along um, I also could not find my little tweezers so I just grabbed these ones to do um, and they worked out pretty well for this kit anyways um, but yeah, so um, you don't really have to even put like that strip of washi underneath it. But for me, I do not wake up at six o'clock in the morning. So I prefer to um, just go ahead and just add that so it covers um, the bottom or that top part. I'm sorry if you can hear my daughter in the background. Um, she is watching Mickey Mouse. <laughs> um, anyways, so moving on. Um, putting down the bottom washi I really liked how the floral actually looked in this kit um, I'm probably gonna try to use more clip art from this artist as well in the future so hopefully um, you like that um, but anyways so the way the kit set up like you know there is one pumpkin at the top washi and there's a like floral washi at the bottom so really like you know if you just wanted to keep it very floral the kit works out really well for like any time kit um, but yes yeah, so I went ahead and put that washi across the weekend banner and then I laid that down since I don't wake up before eight o'clock on the weekends usually and then to build my sidebar um, there is an option of using the heart checklist versus the Monday through Sundays I realized that I'm a checklist person so I went ahead and put that down I usually use that to mark like goals I have set for that week or big things usually one list is for like home personal stuff and then the other list is for like shop related things it sort of varies week by week just big goal bigger goals I have to set and then like for example if I want to um, finish all the releases for this next week since I think yeah so next Saturday is our next kit release which is going to be a big one um, so we just had our functional release um, and there's going to be a lot of kits since I'm going to not just only do pattern kits but we're also going to be doing like um, like clip art kits too since I didn't get to include that last time as well as um, 
like some photo kits. So anyways, I realized that um, the way the, the stack turned out when I did all the washi as is, um, I didn't actually have to cover the date box at the top left. So it actually looks not too bad. So I decided to leave it. Um, and yeah, so that's like the bare bones when it comes to setting up the week. Um, I may just be doing this in the future just so that way I have like a layout of what the week is um, if I don't end up having to film this every time but I probably will um, that's me just counting out when I have to make as many labels as I do so I tried to do something different this week instead of using any script stickers I decided to just write everything out so I apologize for my handwriting um, it's not as pretty as you know when I use the script stickers of course but um, I just you know wanted to just keep it simple this week um, so so I marked down, I use the same type of header to mark the same type of thing. So I guess it's more uniformed, if that makes sense. So my daughter has extra class, you know, outside of preschool that she has on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Um, and then I decided to put down the little panda stickers of her reading. Even though it's like a virtual class with a laptop, um, I thought the little reading one at the desk looked a little bit cuter. Um, so I went ahead and added those. Um, if I didn't ha actually have an hourly, I probably would put the time slots there. But because, you know, the hourly has the time slots, there's really no need to have to rewrite it unless it's like... I would write it if her class was like at 3.30 or something, so I knew the time, but... Anyways, um, so Wednesday is my work day. Normally Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I did take Thursday and Friday off. So Wednesday, I normally mark with like a page flag. Um, in the past, we used to have like foiled page flags with a bunch of different patterns, which I really miss. So I maybe may be bringing that back in the future. Um, but for now, I decided just to use like a full box um, with the little panda character holding a little coffee because I always need coffees um, in the morning when I do go to work. Um, so I decided just to put um, work and then I wanted to also find like a little foiled script or foiled um, pattern to put like with that. I should have wrote it a little bit higher so that there was more space in the box, but um, that's my little tester sheet of foiled stickers um, of with the new release products. Um, in case you didn't see, we do have $2 Tuesdays, so those are, those are up in the shop. Um, I didn't really get to announce them, so there's, they'll probably be there till Wednesday night, if um, depending on when I get this video up, either way. So that will be there. Um, and I'm trying to release stuff every Tuesday, so if there's anything you, you're looking for for me to add that's like foiled, um, just let me know. So I went ahead and marked our drive on Thursday since we are driving to my husband's conference. And I didn't have the little panda stickers with the road trip, but I just used a little happy panda sticker and wrote in road trip. It's going to be a six hour drive, so we have to get there, probably like a five hour drive. But we have a meeting at 2 o'clock, so we just have to get that all done, or get there and have good internet connection by 2 o'clock. And then my daughter does have class at 5. I think that's all the meetings I have. As you can see me just moving my hand around trying to figure out like what I have to get done. And I know a lot, when I used to plan, I would plan like chronologi chron chronologically. Um, like Monday is what I would need to do, Tuesday moving on like day by day. But I realize it's more just whatever I can like compartmentalize. So like for example, I have all the class stickers, the meeting stickers I have to do, the road trip. It is a quick road trip. We were driving there for Thursday. The conference he's doing is all Friday and then we're driving home on Friday. Um, so I kept it just with a few markings. I think I should have used the washi so it sort of just marked the time of travel but I think that's okay so now moving on to my things I think the only appointment I had was my physical therapy appointment at 10 o'clock and the full boxes actually spent two hours but ended up only using it's only a one hour session I usually come home and just do a little bit more exercise afterwards so I tend to like to mark like the full two hours and then I just run errands afterwards so from here I decided to put down my full boxes just to fill up the space chunks of time where I tend to do a lot of stuff so today is Tuesday and I pretty much filled orders all day Monday and this morning a lot of shipping notifications went out so I try to keep processing time you know down to 
three days if possible because like when I order stuff it's usually from Amazon Prime and I usually want my stickers right away once I plan with them but you know life happens right mom life and I sometimes don't have time to get everything together sometimes so I usually put the processing time one to ten days but most of the time it gets out pretty quickly anyways and where was I so I put down the full boxes there I actually wrote the word birthday lunch and put a little ordering some food in most likely to eat on Wednesday and then just filling in this larger chunk spaces with full boxes that I know probably won't be doing too much So I decided to, oh, that's last week's, in case you didn't see last week's video. I um, really liked, oh yeah, so um, I usually do this Monday through Sunday stickers there on the sidebar, but I decided to do the heart checklist this time, um, because last time I ended up changing them out, which is the, and I felt like it was more functional. So I went ahead and just tidy up. I just realized that, you know, with tidying up each day or at the end of the night, I've noticed my anxieties calm down a bit with that regard, doing a large clean or a large, you know, laundry. I just, you know, do one load a day and put that away right away. Anyway, I'm not sure if it's anyone else is the same, but usually when I wash a lot of stuff, I don't want to put it all away at the same time. So it's just like in a huge basket um, that needs to be put away. So anyways. So I just put a sticker there for $2 Tuesdays, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mark grab bags. Uh, we are, usually once a month, we put some grab bags together, which is just like stickers that, you know, that are no longer in our shop, or one or two stickers are miscut. A lot of people sell them as like a discounted price. We like to call them random acts of kindness, or usually they're just bags of like five to 10 stickers that we just place on like Saturday and Sunday I usually just toss those in so I'll probably post somewhere else about that later but just so you guys know ahead of time um, about the grab bags anyways and um, that's me trying to figure out if I am having the I guess the weekly kit release that Saturday or the following Saturday it's actually the following Saturday so it's not this Saturday so I usually put personal stuff at the top and then store stuff at the bottom and I think for store stuff I just had to do like restocks with paper and foil things like that just made sure everything was ready to go for this week's release as well as next week's release so I think that's pretty much the end of my plan with me feel free to leave us a comment below I love talking to you guys and be sure to subscribe click the notification bell and I will see you guys next week for our next plan with me in my hourly. I may actually do one in my A5 if I get a chance today by the end of today. So hopefully there's another plan with me coming this week. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye.